Jeffu plays. So we can watch this. This is the last one. Holy shit, this is where this is where fan This is where No, this is where Ruru is. Nikkei, goddess of victory. I come because I couldn't stop thinking about you. <laughs> Look at her face. Oh man, we are gonna reese. <laughs> Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back. It's me, Jeffrey here, and today we're gonna go and play with more Nikkei. <laughs> but um, yes, in today's video, um, I actually record a bunch of videos. I've been playing a lot of Nikkei, and um, I just want to give a heads up to you guys that um, timeline-wise might be weird, but each Nikkei video, it's like you know, it's almost dedicated to itself, and except for when I'm doing some main, like you know, story stuff, but it's still gonna be chapter by chapter. Uh, I will try to do it that way. So that you know things are not going to get uh, confusing and stuff. So you guys want to see the chapter eight, then it's chapter eight. You guys want to see a faction, then it's a faction. Then you guys probably know what is what. Um, so yeah, in today's one, we are actually doing some little bit of a faction things with Sakura, and I really like the story actually. Um, so I hope you guys do too. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Jeff right here, and today we're gonna go, and it's time that we can take a look at those. A faction like movies or stuff because I have a little bit more time until colorless is renewed and we will get like a new ticket so that we can play the tickets get the ending and then you guys can like you know I can finish up my videos there for colorless but um I, I don't want to just wait and do nothing so I decided that dude we got 30 minutes till it's time so why not we go to the outpost why not we try to just spend some time that I wanted to do that I didn't manage to do. So this video itself is just about advice and the and the stuff that we can see with them. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the most basic, which is Rappi. Um, I want to see where it's Rappi at because we should have some sort of Bond episode to watch. Not really, we don't really have. <laughs> I'm gonna quick advise her so that we can get more levels so that we can watch it. Um, like, okay, we have like Sakura, we got some episode, let's watch it. Um, is it the first one? Let's just go and watch the first one. One peaceful afternoon. I don't have any missions lined up today. I should take care of some chores. Uh, I've been putting off. Okay, beep. Okay, is it Sakura Kitsune? Hi! You're a friend of Semeka leader, right? I saw you two chatting and you seem friendly enough. The leader of Semeka, eh? Yes, I know her. Great! I'm... Glad my informant gave me the right number. I realize you don't know me, but uh, I have a request. Uh, how much do you know about Semeka? They are the one of the top three largest underground organization. They are a video cloud where everyone dressed up in suits. They are one of the top three largest un underground organizations. So you do know. Well, there's an internal conflict brewing with it within their ranks. If it boils over, I shouldn't have to tell you how detrimental that will be to the current state of peace in the Ark. Worse comes to worse, their leadership may end up changing. Changing. If that happens, there will be chaos. People like me who are on the low, who are who are low on the totem pole, will drop like flies. What do you mean to do? Are you one of the Semekai? I want to want to join. Uh, I'm just gonna ask her. What What do you want me to do? Something which is difficult but needs to be done. You need you use your pre-existing friendship with Sakura to gain access to Semeka. I want you to medi mediate um, the relationship between Sakura and the opposing organization. None of this group will exactly roll out the red carpet for a stranger, but they won't harm any personnel from the center government either. If we will help out Sakura, I will do it. Thank you. I'll leave the rest to you or something like that uh, I'll go and assess the situation so this is this is all rather sudden you just waltz in here and say you want you'll be staying for a while I understand that you are a commander but this is a bit much consider it one of my many duties I can't because I couldn't stop thinking about you <laughs> look at her face oh man we are gonna reese <laughs> uh, and I, I have this like weird beard thing, right? I'll just keep playing with it. <sighs> <laughs> you messing with me, aren't you? 
Do I look like some floozy who swoon at every word some jarhead utters? Dude, you, you literally kissed me, by the way. Besides, even if what you say was true, it makes you sound juvenile. Same here, guys, an organization that operates in the underworld. Getting serious and involved in any capacity isn't good for business. Then again, I feel rather rude kicking you out after you come so far. I'll take you to the room you'll be staying in. For the time being, you and I have to stick together. So she's just playing tsundere around here right now, I guess. Our member need to learn how to show you some respect. Come to think of it, have you ever dealt with anyone from the wrong side of tracks, shall we say? Uh, I dealt with far worse than these talks. That's good to hear. I should play around with a little bit like a, oh no, I'm so scared. I'm just gonna jump to her boobs and then like, you know, like, usually you jump to a chest, right? But it's like jump to a boobs and then you'll be like taking advantage, like, you know, so, um, <laughs> I won't need to hold your hand every step of the way. Anyway, make yourself at home sometimes later. This is the room you'll be staying, right beside Sakura's room? Yes, that's right. Given your background, our leader has some concern. We have been advised to keep you in our sight at all times. Starting tomorrow, you'll be shadowing the leader. The first item on the schedule is the morning meeting at 7 a.m. Tea will be served. Sleepy out. Tea will be served. <clears throat> Try not to fumble anything in the leader presence. So that is the stuff. Um, can we watch this as well? There's a lot of stories and stuff that we can actually watch. The next day, 6.50 a.m. According to the schedule, I'm supposed to join Sakurai at 7 a.m. Let's get over her to her quarters so that I'm not late. A moment later, Sakura room. It appears that there is a, already a guest inside. Okay, Genzo. I don't know who that is, Genzo, but there is a guy character in this game. Other than Anderson or something. <laughs> so you won't change your mind, not even now. I believe I already gave you an answer, must I repeat myself. I understand what you're saying. But it won't be easy persuading our lower ranking members. You are attempting to dismantle a business your ancestor established so many years ago. They'll be rolling over in their grave. Please spare me. How long will you concern yourself with the dead? I am the current leader of the Samei Guy. The direction I prefer is the one that moves our organization forward. If you can't accept that, you are feel free to leave. But I can't promise your safety, if you do. Are you threatening me? I was always a loyal servant to your parents. Is this some kind of joke? In a fury, Genzo slammed the table, sending the teapot and waste hurling to the ground and shattering. I would understand if it was from someone else, but how can you say something like that? I sacrificed everything for this organization and got on my hands dirty time after... And this is precisely for the reason that I'm allowed you to speak to me the way you have. But enough is enough, Genzo. If you continue, I will show you that I don't carry this gun for decoration. Sounds like things going south fast. Make a noise. Who's there? I am a guest of your leader. Okay. What? Even you are a guest? How dare you enter the chamber? You are either insane, stupid, or both. Enough, Genzo. How far are you willing to go to embarrass me? You should leave now. It will be ill-mannered for us to subject our guests to any more of our teeth. I hope you will have another chance to speak again, my leader. Genzo leave with the look of displeasure. Like, I did not mean for you to witness such an embarrassing family squabble. What happened? It's our business. There's no need to concern yourself. Whatever it is, it must be what causing all these recent problems. That's why you are the. That's why there's this rift between you and the other members. <sighs> Sounds like you heard our entire conversation. It's not polite to listen in, in, in on other conver people's conversation, you know. But what's done is done. We shall, we should move elsewhere. There are a lot of prying eyes and ears in this mansion. I will have our refreshment sent to the tent outside. Okay, there's a tent outside. Does the tea taste good? 
is genuine black tea brought in by the merchant union. I never taste such delicious tea. A succulent Chinese tea? <laughs> I'm glad you can tell the difference. After an initial wave of slight bitterness, there is a sweet and subtle aftertaste that lingers. The color is also magnificent. The slight tint of dark blue is the proof that it's been well oxidized. Drink the tea. I, I need to drink some salt. I am thirsty myself. After I finish my cup, Sakura refills it. Drink the tea. How many tea do you want me to let me drink? So you're interested in that little squabble Genzer and I have, are you? Before I go any further, I want to ask you something. When you say black and dark blue are different colors? Uh, yeah. So you and I agree on that much. Black is the color of death. Immoral, heinous, evil, behind acts committed to ensuring the organization's survival. Dark blue is one step down from that. It's the color of what you could call lesser evil. For example, if you're crackling down on someone who has gone against the organization, there's a world of difference between punishing the individual and punishing the entire family. The same principle applies to how we conduct our business. There's a difference between us committing simple blackmail versus, say, adopting people. Then there are plenty of people who come to us voluntarily wanting to work together. Even though this is something most people never have to consider, as the same Meikai leader, it's something I have to consider every hour of every day. That was the promise I made to Mustang when I first become a Nikkei. I held fast to my principle all this time and I have refused to engage in anything that went against them. Unfortunately, most of the organization doesn't feel the same way as I do. And this has given rise to some small <clears throat> yet pernicious problem. It has a hassle, no doubt, but not something the military should be worried about. What was, the what was that Ganzo said about you trying to dismantle what your parents had worked so hard for? For decades, we've been running clandestine activities which started with my forebears. Activities of which Semei Kai has long been a part as well. The kind of things where the profits are built upon a spill blood of countless people. It stands to a reason that we'll re more risk. Uh, with more risk comes greater reward. I'm sure you can imagine the amount of money they rake in tax to these activities. Ah, uh, more risk with more reward. I'm thinking of getting an OnlyFans. Um, and I would do hentai games there. Let's play. <laughs> Uh, it's like <laughs> still so that's what I'm gonna do higher risk higher return <laughs> and it looks like your members aren't willing to give that up I don't know maybe it would be like I don't know whether if anybody else did it so I would be the first guy who actually changed OnlyFans from like OnlyFans girl to like like I would be like you know like the first guy who actually play hentai games on only fans and then people will be watching that and then and then they will be like I, no I, I would be like the first PewDiePie like how PewDiePie made a let's play famous like like how it is like I would be like the guy who made let's play famous in only fans with how it is <laughs> oh boy yesterday I played one hentai game which is actually pretty good like I, I'm not the type of person who look down on hentai game just because they are hentai game. A lot of hentai games comes with very great plot, very nice story. Like, it's so dark in a way, and then, but sometimes we, it have like a sentimental value as well. And it have like great twists. 
and and I will call those like the cock blocker games. I don't know. I, it's type. It's the type of game where you will like unzip yourself, like because you want to do business. But they were like, hmm? you will slowly zip yourself back. So it's like maybe I should call it zip content. <laughs> you're like, you're like unzip, and then like, never mind. This is so interesting. I'm just gonna go through this. <laughs> So yeah, it is what it is, man. Oh man, it was a, uh, it was okay. If you guys wonder, I'm not pretty sure what is that game called, but it was a RPG game. It was actually pretty good. It was an RPG. Uh, it, it's about a knight, a lady knight girl, and uh, the boyfriend got caught by a monster, and then you need to save the boyfriend. But um, in that in that journey itself, it's got a lot of problem that occurred. So you got to beat them. It's very well strategized it's an, because it's, a, it's an RPG game. So you got to buy like for me, I am like Final Fantasy big fan. So I know how to play JRPG or any RPG uh, very smoothly. Like you know, I know how to beat them. I know I know how to strategize myself. So when I get into the game itself. Um, you know, I, I, I strategize it pretty well. I try to do the best um, strategy as possible. And what ended up in that game itself is that I did not see any um, uh, any scenes in the game because I keep beating the boss. Like, you're supposed to game over so that you will see some sort of scenes, but because I keep beating them and... <laughs> I beat the game without seeing any scenes except for like the last part where you get back your boyfriend and they got some sort of scenes there. So it's like, it's way too vanilla. It's supposed to be a very gory, like you know, like all the monsters will probably violate like, you know, the ladies, but, but, <laughs> but, but instead I played so vanilla, it's like, it's so, it's so strange. I, I beat all the bosses and I get to the boyfriend and then after that I beat the I beat the last boss I saved the boyfriend <laughs> and then they just went home and they have the scene and it's happy ending and that's it <laughs> but but yeah the story was actually not bad like there is a lot of, like all these like you know like when you read all this and stuff it was actually pretty good a very nice script. I forgot the name of the game though because it's it's so short. Like you think it's around one hour or two hours. I beat the whole thing. Um. So yeah. Will you be okay though? In what sense? If you do that, you'll be turning your own people into your enemy. Very well. My parents would have listened to them and tried to negotiate, but that's not an option available to me. If they they say that certain people will break before they ban. Well, I'm one of those people. I don't know how to ban. This is why this is the best I can do. Now I understand. What do you mean? I know how to help you. So we can help her. Ooh, we need to unlock level five. Now, I will give her something. We have a lot of stuff. Do you heard what she said? So this is how every time you would just snatch snatch off or steal my first time. My every first time. What is this? Level 7. There is so many stories. Can I use all the item on her? I just want to see Sakura stories then. Next day, downtown in the Ark. Jeffrey what is this? I thought you said you would help me. Why did you bring me here? This is just a short intermission, a little date. I'm trying to take your mind off things. Okay, uh, a little date, I guess. A date? Aren't those for people romantically interested in each other? Stop arguing, we're already out, so let's enjoy ourselves. You're certainly uh, audacious, if, not, uh, if nothing else. I don't think there's anyone else in the entire arc bold enough to treat me this way. Nevertheless, you are the guest in my house, and I must be a gracious host. Take me whenever you want to go. Wherever you want to go, I will follow. She's playing all the tsundere shit again. Sometimes later at the park downtown, 
But she's like the when you watch. I, I remember I watched some Japanese drama back in the day. There is this like super nice, high, like mighty、um, ladies, like ladies, ladies, like really ladies. I'm talking about like ladies. <laughs> That that that, that are the top tier ladies, like not not girl, not women, no ladies. I'm talking about ladies. <laughs> yes, because I have to push it. It's not just one time. I say it so many times because it is important. Ladies, like I remember、uh, some show that is about ladies, and then they they acted this way. And and in the Japanese drama, he fell in love with a guy that is super talented. He's supposed to have he got a lot of talent, and he was he was in one of the best school, of course. But he decided to, like, okay, there is like a crucial thing that happened where the mother, the the parents, one of the parents got sick, and he have to go back because he he study abroad. Then because you no, know, it's a Japan show, so he have to go back to Japan、uh, to Japan to see the mother for the last time, which what he did instead of choosing taking that exam. It was like an important exam happening to him that day. If you don't take it, then you know everything. You you can't graduate or you can't do anything like you know something like that. It's pro- some problem will happen. So what happened was he went back and he go back to his parent, go and see the mother, and that's what he chose. So to see the mother for one last time, but of course, nonetheless, still pass away and.、Um, So so things goes for like ten years later. And then they met one ladies ladies, where the ladies met a fishmonger, a fishmonger, and um, which like accidentally because they don't actually do because the ladies you know they always sit in the car in a rich car whatever and this and that right. But um, so so this lady like just accidentally saw a fishmonger stuff. But this is how usually drama works. The fishmonger, yes, was in one of those good schools, which means they have friends there, right? So one of those friends, of course, they graduate normally and become successful in life. So the best friend always invite him to come over to the house and eat something, and it's like a great expensive house and stuff. So he actually, okay,、um, we actually got some nice fish today. Let's let's sashimi, sashimi this fish. And bring it to the friend's house because they got like a you know like a gathering party or whatnot, and so nicely that ladies, the heroine, also there during that time, which saw her, saw him, but of course it's like that kind of show where they look down upon him because of his status and stuff, and、um, but but he's a smart guy, so every conversation that he have, he can keep up with himself. He can keep up with the conversation. He can talk. Uh, with whatever topic that they are actually talking during then, so so that is like a part where it will like show the the girl was like curious about like why why does he know so much about this, but yet why is he working as a fishmonger,、uh, you know stuff like that. Why why is he selling fish for stuff like that? And you know it's a love story. Slowly they will get together and stuff, which is a、uh, which is. Which reminds me of, and this is how she talks. Like you know, when you see that Sakura and and the commander at the beach, that is how they talk. They have those kind of moment where he brought the ladies to the normal people dating scene. For example, like all those like, oh, this garden is closed, but um, let's be some, let's be mischief a little bit. Let's climb on this ga-、uh, garden. Let's get into the garden, and then they were like, you know, just play around and then like chasing each other and then just, you know, just fooling around, like a, like a date. Um, and and they they saw the duck thing and they ride on the duck thing. Somehow they the thing just. Like you know, like the boat thing didn't goes well. The duck thing didn't goes well. Somehow it it unbalanced itself. It drops, and they both fell inside the pond. But then they just got back out, and then they just saw each other all wet and stuff, looking at each other with a very romantic song and stuff, and they just smile and just laugh, and then they just both look at each other and then they kiss, and you know, go on and go on and go on, stuff like that. And、uh, yeah, it's a very pretty good show. It's a very old drama. I think no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a very old. It's around nineties, I think. A nineties Japanese drama. It's very good. I love Japanese drama. 
I've been watching them till like 2000 and I've been trying like last time like there's a lot of DVDs and stuff like you know like those blockbuster stuff or whatever that you guys have that type of you can rent your your, your you, you can rent a VCR or you can rent a VHS or you can rent a, a DVD or anything like that you just uh, I just like I just buy those dramas we have like ton of the dramas from from 19 like the, the 90s drama japanese drama because i was so addicted to japanese that's how i learned my japanese language as well and until 2007 or 8 because that is the time when things got weird as in like things get into like you know like <laughs> things get into like this like, very plotty like the k k drama stuff like um what i mean by it's like you know like the girl disguise herself inside of a of a school and then it's so fake like it's so fantasy like and then somehow the rich guy will will fall in love with the ugly girl and 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 in the school that they keep getting bullied and stuff it just doesn't make sense you know that type of like drama it's that is during 2008 2007 that's how even the japanese drama changed there before then it was like a very normal type it's drama it's like a normal maybe a 31 years old uh girl or woman career woman who uh who pursue her, her career so hard that that she got into a 30, 30 plus years old and then there's a young guy like 24 or 25 and then he gave up his dream once when he graduated and then like you know things happened he did not think so he gave up his dream at the age of 20 probably around there so he just worked normally and stuff but then he met this girl and then both of them support each other you know it's just like a normal person would meet up a normal person but it's got like a lot of drama and happening and how it happens and stuff and that's how he, she actually motivates him to be to pursue his dream again and then at the ending of the show they both end up together of course there's a lot of things happen they become together they separate as a rain thing happens they 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 laugh they they scream they get they, they fight or whatever i don't know this drama right and then after that at the end they still end up together and this guy even pursue his dream and they, they always have this very famous one line thing right they always have like um no matter like like i think the one is like no matter which what what age you are whatever time i think i would i think i will always watch because this guy the dream is trying to be a good director he wanted to become a director to direct his own shows and movies and stuff so i no matter what age and what what time or no matter when it, when it is i will always looking forward to watch your your movie or shows or something like that and then like it, you know so, so at the end that's how they it, it ended up like you no know, he he won a award like you know like like for example he won like an emmy award and then he was like the ending is just show that he he won the award and which means it implies that he actually pursued his dream and his dream come true and they are together and stuff like that so you know you know it's just drama it it, it encourages you for your dreams it just it's great it doesn't have any weird agenda it doesn't have any weird unrealistic um fantasy you know like <sighs> So I stopped watching drama in 2007, 2008, around there for like Japanese drama and more a lot of the dramas. Like a lot of drama these days as well, it's very, it's very too plotty. It doesn't have like, like there is this show, I, I think I remember this one, it's called, um, the one just now I said is, I think it's Orange, Orange Days? No. Slow Dance. Just search for it. Slow Dance, Japanese drama. And then... And then there's one called Love Generation, which is just a show about a 20s and a 20s, like a 20s guys and a 20s girl working in the same place. Somehow they fell in love and stuff. There's a lot of those famous scenes that make you feel like, oh man, this is so good. That's how it is. Like, you know, they don't have, they don't need the the crazy settings. Like, oh, it's a prince with an ugly duckling girl. And then oh it's a uh, it's a pretty girl with an ugly guy or a otaku guy you know they don't need that kind of fantasy <laughs> plot settings they have like this this the the di the direct scenes of the famous scenes that happen in the show itself is what it makes it like special 
right? They have like, like I, you know, like like how does the the the, the just the some sort of event happens, the line that they put out, that is like what having, um, what makes the show good. That's just my my opinions on that. I'm sorry, I get too much into this drama because I'm so passionate about it. <laughs> so would you like to hold hands? Uh, yeah. Typical. Some things must happen naturally. Trying to force your way into someone's good grace never works. It was just a suggestion. I don't want to force you. Very well. Is there anything else you want to do? Why don't we go to the Cherry Blossom Cafe? Ah, that place. Our organization accept protection money from there. That's that's an extra information that I don't need. If we have increased their profit, I'm sure the owner will appreciate it. They're holding a spring event. That should serve your purpose well enough. Oh boy. Welcome. Miss Sakura? Hey, it's that guy who threw away the cat. Oh shit! Now I don't feel bad anymore. Yeah, take more protection money from them. Take more. This guy throw her his cat. This guy throw his cat like seriously. Everything going as well? Of course. We had some Hedonia members looking around a few days ago. But even they weren't foolish enough to come in and harass us. Sounds like our members are doing a good job. Show us your seat. Our seat. Show, uh, show us our seat, will you? Y yes. A moment later, after we sit, we order server seasonal cherry blossom team dishes, including sherbet, melon brain, and a parfait. Uh, if anything else, if you need anything else, just say the word. Mm. I never seen so many sweets in one table, me neither. You should have the first bite. Now you go ahead. Please, you're my guest. It would be rude for me to start first. I scoop a spoonful of sherbet and offer it to Sakura. What are you doing? Come on. Ah. Uh, I am perfectly capable of feeding myself. You're not going to turn down your guests, are you? I know, but... Fine, I will humor you just this one. Look at that, she's all red. She's all red. <laughs> Blushing. Sakura blush as she eats the sherbet from the spoon I'm holding. Don't think I'll let you pull a cheap trick like this again. How does it taste? It's very unique. It tastes like strawberry. But the sherbet itself has a light cherry blossom scented. There's also our sour element to it, very intense lemon maybe. It's remarkable that they've been able to inject something made of splendamine with so many wonderful flavors and, ex and texture. What? What are you looking at? Do I have something on my face? You look reju rejuvenated already? What are you talking about? I don't understand. Are you trying? Are you saying I wasn't myself before? They say that certain people will break before they ban. Well, I'm one of those people. I don't know how to ban. That's why this is the best I can do. It's all that in fighting with your own organization. You look like you are carrying the world on your shoulder. Ah, so you are worried about what I told you before. That's what this date was all about, wasn't it? To make me feel better. Thank you. But it was unnecessary. I can't let minor things like this get me down. If I did, how could I possibly lead such a massive organization like Seimeikai? However, if everyone only did exactly what was needed and nothing more, then you wouldn't have a wonderful day like today. Also, it's a wonderful day! Sakura reaches across the table and places her hand on top of mine. Jeff Gun, you are the only one who I can trust. So much so, I think you're qualified to be my commander. So just this one, can I be vulnerable around you? Not my head. I have to tell you how I truly feel. As I know, the last thing I want is to clash with my own people. If I'm forced to, I will make a girl show. Uh, sh I will make a show of strength. But if I can, I would like to find another way, something without the need of brute force, that would make everyone happy. No matter how hard I think, I couldn't came up with anything. If you're willing, let's look for a way together. Thank you, Jeff Kuhn, for listening and for being someone I can lean on before I end up snapping. Hey! Look at that. That's great. We're gonna get the bond to level, level 7. 
I don't know, but I, I'm just gonna do it. Holy shit, this is so much. I just give So it's gone. Oh, it's really another day. That's why we have like another quick advice. Hey, we got like so much episode. I'm gonna finish it up today. I'm gonna finish her episode today. Sakura carefully placed flower in different. Since we decided to go to figure a way out of this predicament together, I will no longer keep any secrets from you. Those activities that I mentioned began with one when one of our organization collectors went up to the surface. While they were up there, they stumbled upon something completely by accident. A flower three times more potent than illuminate sunshine, illuminate scene. The most powerful hallucinogen known at the the time hallucinogen hallucinogen can you believe that is that like Nikkei word I think all this is Nikkei word right it's not English I don't think is that in English something like this, like this? illumine illuminate that illuminate sin illuminate illuminate sine <laughs> illuminate sin <laughs> it's one of the most desired products on the dark web on the dark net and there was something that blew it out of the water. Talking about darkness, I remember like back in the days, people, like there's one time, like one year, I, I don't know, 2006, 2005, or 2004, or something like that. People were so addicted. I think it's 2005 or 2006. People were so addicted with like dark web stuff. Like, oh, I bought a mystery box from the dark web. You know, I remember those contents and shit. Oh boy, those were the days, huh? My forebears were certain that as long as they processed this flower, you will become a great blessing to the organization and bring them incredible wealth. So, staying hidden from the watchful eyes of the government, they poured money into creating an environment that will allow us to mass produce this flower without any need for sunlight. But there was a bit of a problem. Sakura sleeps the stem of a flower with her scissors. Snap. The pollens of this flower contains little do doses of toxin. Those who attempt to cultivate it end up dead before long. Snap. Anyone who inhales the pollen become addicted and experience intense side effects due to the flower potent hallucinogen's property. Hallucinogenic property. Hallucinogenic property. Hallucination. Hallucinogen. Hallucin. 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 Hallucinogenic. Hallucinogenic. Is this how it says? Is this an English word? That how you say it's like that like you want to put like Janik or something like 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 uh like um like like you know like the nick word at the end like snaptic like kick or something like that, right? Something like that. Is that his? Hallucino hallucination? Hallucinogenic? I don't know. Snap. Even so, it was determined that the money the flowers would bring in was enough to ups offset the life it would claim, and that's why they continue to cultivate it to this day. Does anyone in Semika know about this? Of course, they. But they all turns their head. We invest so, so much for so long. It's time to reap the benefits. If we gave up now, we are abandoning all the money we generate from it. If those financial gains that the members of the organization believe will help us overshadow our competitors, is there anything that could replace it? Is there anything that could replace it? There could be something. Nothing legal, however. Unless we were careful, the central governments will be on us in no time. Engaging in more illegal activities isn't something I'm enthusiastic, uh, enthusiastic about in the first place either. In that case, it's tough, I understand, if you can't think of anything right off the bat. I thought about this long and hard and still doesn't come up, still haven't come up with a viable solution. Do you want to get some air? Perhaps gazing at the cherry blossom will lighten our mood. She still want to go date with me. Look at her, she's addicted to go date with me, that's what it is. This breeze is lovely. The cherry blossoms are full. Are you flu bloom? Jeffrey Coon? I could put my arms around yours, perhaps. 
Couples often do this during the cherry blossom festival. I always wanted to do it myself, off of my hand. My goodness, you agree without even hesitating. I I don't know. You guys said like you guys never expected that you know Sakura and and Commander or me. <laughs> Like you know, during the 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 beach event, like it was like so unexpected that that would happen. But from what I can see from here, they're very close to each other. <laughs> it's like Sakura is the is the female protagonist around here. It's like the heroine of this show, of this game. I'm sorry. Are you being this sweet because I'm one of your Nikkeis, or is it because how you feel about me specifically? I see my question makes you uncomfortable. Forget I, forget I said anything. I was only joking somewhat. You know? You know? You know, I can lie if you want. Or is it really a lie though? Of course it's because of how I felt about you, Sakura. I can see why everyone enjoys walking this way. With their arms interlocked. Come to think of it. Didn't we drink tea under this tree before? I believe so. Even though we have we've been here before, the bond between us has deepened. Perhaps that will enrich the flavor of the tea as well. Since our goal was to lighten the mood, let's bring out the refreshments. Good idea. Sometimes later, Sakura pours some tea into my tea cup. Drink the tea. The taste and aroma is sub sublime. It's the best tea I ever had. <laughs> it looks like my prediction was right. This is a type of oolong tea, so the aroma is quite intense. It maintains the flavor and aroma even after brewing it multiple times. This has long been considered one of the finest tea available ever since the olden days. If they valued it so highly back then, what about now? It's considered even more valuable now. It's impossible to grow tea leaf in an environment without natural sunlight. Unless you're part of a wildlife agency. This light, this tea is a big hit amongst the wealthy. So the price has gone up through the roof. Actually, now that I think of it, there's another place. One where you could grow tea leaf. I knew this would, this was a good idea. Thanks for, thanks, thanks to us coming out here. I found the answer I've been searching out for long. A moment later. The main hall of the mansion. So they're gonna make tea. I'll be discarding all the flowers in the garden. Hmm? In the light of the organization financial concern, I will come up with another business proposition that will help us turn it into a profit. What kind of proposition? Tea. You all are well aware of how much I enjoy tea. I am fond of all different types. And I'm not shy about spending serious money to acquire it. So if we grow tea leaf in the garden on a mass scale and sell them on the dark net, we will earn far more than we could ever peddling from those flower of old. Or the members start murmuring among themselves, hmm, hmm, but leader, our predecessor sacrificed so much in order to get this flower to this point. How can you do away with something that was so important to them without any discussion? This isn't just about money, it's about our organization's own history. Genzo, I take in your misgiving into the consideration and have offered an alternative solution. Can the same be said of you? If you are unable to escape the shadow of the past and merely continue to repeat yourself, I feel like it is impossible to have an honest dialogue with you. From where I'm standing, you are unable to communicate. Think about it. What kind of immoral person will recklessly discard what their parents work on so hard? What did you just say? Immoral? It seems that I raised a dog that had forgotten how to be loyal to its master. Sakura grabs a gun hanging to the decorative stands and click. Once the dog ceases to recognize its master, you should put it down. Sakura, wait! What is it? I understand your frustration, but this isn't the way. Jeff, okay. I did all I could. I extended an olive branch then s and they slapped it away. Why would you defend them? Rather than using force, didn't you want to try and convince them? If you go through with this, all your effort will be in vain. Sakura slowly looks to her left and right and lower the guns. Very well. You should be thankful to Jeffu, Genzo. That's the only reason you are still alive. I'm going to do the rest of this my way. Follow me. I need to show you something. Okay, okay, okay. We can we can go for this. This is like level 10. This is 
Level 10. So level 10 is a max. So we, so we can watch this. This is the last one. Holy shit! This is where. This is where. Fan, this is where. No, this is where Ruru is. This is where Ruru is. Oh man, Nyanya Paradise. This is Semeka's secret garden. It is filled with flowers in bloom. The garden canopy reminds me of the dome of eternity. So what actually happened in Nyanya Paradise is just that Ruru got into some of these drugs, like the the wheat, and then he and then he thought he's in heaven. Did I just? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding, okay? You know, we, we should... No, it's Ruru, Ruru. Ruru did not sniff any weed, okay? <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Not my head. He has no more choice but to be. He has claimed so many innocent lives and he will take more. At the very least, the beauty of this flower is a slight recompense for all the pain there, of course. I'm going to burn this garden down. I don't care who disagrees, it must be done. The same Ikai is me and I am the same Ikai. And I'm the I, it is my duty to bring it all down. If the flower ceases to exist, everyone will have no choice but to follow my plan. Then all of this internal conflict will resolve itself naturally. I, I realize this isn't a matter either of us would have preferred, but I operate in my domain of the underworld. It's only fitting that I employ a solution character characteristic of that world, don't you think? So just set up the fire. So I gotta set the fire to the garden. We should get going before the fire spreads. Ha! Huh. I know you will come here. I don't know what you have done inside, but you will not get away with it. Genzo, look! The smoke, what? You didn't. Can't be. My flowers! Genzo fell on his knee in front of the entrance to the garden. Leader, how could you? This garden, this flower, they would be our they would have been our savior. With the money this flower would have brought us, every other organization we have knelt before us. Hedonia, the Peonia As Association, and everything in between. Why why did you do it? I can't understand you either. Semeka was built on integrity. At least that's what the first leader who had founded this organization intended. People who respected that ideal gathered, and thus a group was formed. How much of that do you think remains in Samukai today? How long do you think we can truly last? When every accomplishment is built on upon bodies of our fallen brothers and sisters. Evil or not, we will always have followers. As long as we have money and power, they always come. Don't you realize that? There is one thing that I do know. The Samukai that you want to create is a devil's lair. One built on dishonesty and brutality. At least the Semek I dream of is the one that you can declare with pride. A shelter in a storm that you can depend on in times of need. A home that you can always return to. We spent many years together again, so it's unfortunately that our belief diverged so wildly. Sakura turns and walks away. Wait, wait, show me! Show me this new path you are pursuing! which required my destruction. I don't need a dog that bites the hand which feed itself for so long. If it's obedience you want and that's what I'll be, please let me remain with you to see your plan through, the until, through until the end. Oh man. Sometimes later, mean hall in the same egg I mentioned. Per your orders, we have smuggled in 13 different tea trees and planted them in the garden. We have consulted records in the wildlife agency and have followed them uh, assiduously. How did they fare? Out of 13 seeds planted, 6 did not survive, and 7 were sprout, 5 later dried up. We determined in the result of in insufficient rich soil and incorrect temperature. There were various other reasons pertaining to the ecosystem, but we have improved all the areas that we could. Mm. And what of the two that remain? Did they also winter or die? The results? They rather unexpectedly, from what we observed to date, they have been growing better than these found in natural environments. Ooh! On top of that, there are two types which survived the rarest on the market. I believe our profit margin will be above what we initially expected. 
Congratulations, leader. You were right. Even now, I'm not sure I entirely agree with your obsessions with the right and wrong. But you took me back, and every, after everything I've done, I hope you can let me prove my worth. Do as you please. I will report back to the Garden Dead. Sometimes later, Mansion's Garden. It looks like everything works out nicely. Indeed. We may have, we may not have gone about it in a way we hope, you hope, but we achieve the desired result. Thank you for being with me through all this. A few words alone weren't enough to properly thank you. Is there anything that you want? Name it, and shall I grant it to you? Money, power. If it's something I cannot give you straight away, then I will work to see that it is done. Say America is an organization with a long history. We can just go to the hotel, that's it, you know. <laughs> I'm confident we have just as many years ahead of us as they are behind us. You don't have to give me anything, yeah. I achieved what I came here for. What? I thought you came here without a goal in mind. So there, are, there was something in it for you. Well, what was it? You use your pre-existing uh, pre friendship with Sakura to gain access to Samekai. You want to ma mediate the relationship with Sakura and the opposing organization. None of this group will exactly roll out the red carpet for strangers, but they won't harm any personnel from the center government either. If you will help out Sakura, I would do it. As I told you were in danger, I wanted to protect you. Yes, there was an internal conflict between me and the organization members, but... I never felt I personally was in any jeopardy. Who put such a ridiculous notion in your head? I don't know who they are. Uh, it was a text sent anonymously. So you got a text. I had no idea from who. No idea whether if they are telling you was the truth. Yet you come rushing in without any second thought. All because you were worried about me? <laughs> you are really, you really are sweet. I know you weren't an ordinary person, but now I'm starting to wonder how many women you seduce and abandon with that sweetness. Um, maybe three right now, I guess. It only makes sense after all. I realize in myself after this incident. You put people at ease and make them feel comfortable. As for me personally, I can't tell how much you make me happy. The only problem is, I have no intention of sharing what I have with anyone else. Clack. Sakura craw, draw close to me and place her lips upon mine as Cherry Blossom drift down the base. Uh, 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 Sakura, kiss me again! <laughs> I try to be a level headed person, but I'm still the head of the underworld. It is in my nature to dominate. Oh, Sakura left to dominate. Once you start to, starts to reside in my heart, everything about you, your body, your mind, your future, will be mine and mine alone. Mine, oh mine, oh mine. Okay. So that's that. That's Sakura. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We, we spent almost an hour on just Sakura's story and that's crazy. So nonetheless, you know what? I'm gonna end it right here. If you guys enjoyed this, give it a like and of course subscribe to the channel. Then that was Sakura. Ah, oh. oh, she kissed me at the end. It's so good. It's so good. Oh boy, I'll be seeing you. <laughs>